Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Allotment of the Dead. So uh, you join me today um, with these nice pots next to me here. Uh, great big 35 litre buckets. Um, and the plan is today to try and plant some more potatoes for Christmas. So kind of late August, early September is when you really could do with planting your potatoes. I mean, you, you should have planted them probably start of August if you were going to plant them directly in the ground because that first frost, potentially in November, uh, will be enough probably to give those particular plants above the ground a bit of a nip. Um, that frost will get to the plant, unfortunately, and it can kill the, the plant. So the plan here is because they're in buckets, I can actually start them outside uh, and I can bring them into the polytunnels when that kind of cold air starts coming in and uh, you need that little bit more protection uh, from the elements um, and it also gives you that opportunity then as well of um, having more control over the watering and things like that as well because in this uh, probably into the autumn and winter we're probably going to get some down pours that um, you might end up with waterlogged buckets and things like that and I know if I was to put these down at the other end of the plot um, kind of what happened in the spring was we had loads and loads of rain and it was under about three inches of water so uh, if I put these in the polytunnel it would give me that opportunity to, uh, to make sure we don't get too waterlogged and things things when they get waterlogged will generally tend to rot so the plan is to use these 35 litre buckets I've got um, some seed potatoes so I know some people will use potatoes from the previous year's crops or even from this year's crops that they've taken out the ground at the moment um, I was going to save some of the single seed potato challenge potatoes for this because they are absolutely gorgeous flavour still have no idea what they are um, I'm looking forward to Steve giving us the, uh, the information on that because it's, it's hopefully it's going to be something I'll be able to get hold of and I can actually grow them again next year because they were quite a spectacular crop. They, uh, my one potato, I got quite a bit of produce from it, so I'm quite pleased with it. But um, I don't know what they are yet, so I couldn't, in effect, order any for, for my Christmas potatoes, which would have been nice because we had some really nice, quite large potatoes. My intention was to save some of the small ones, but they were just so nice that we ate them. So uh, they've all gone now. So I've decided to go back to the old favourites. So we've gone to the local garden centre um, over this last weekend and I've managed to pick up some charlottes and some Pentland javelin. So I think there's probably about eight potatoes or so in these things and there's about four, they're about four pounds. Um, so not very cheap but um, that kind of ability to get something that you've grown yourself to go on your plate at Christmas is, um, for me, the one thing that kind of makes me want to do it, really. Right, so what we'll do is we'll make up a nice um, compost to go in these pots. So I've already put some compost in the bottom of these pots. So this is kind of a bit of Jack's magic. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of nutrients to this pot at the bottom. So we'll put a little bit of potato fertiliser in. Don't need a massive amount. And then what we'll do, we'll get these charlottes, which I'm not overly fussed about them chitting, but they have chitted themselves in the... Uh, in the bags here so you get these kind of nice um, little kind of roots and shoots growing on them so we'll put three in each of these pots uh, I'm planning on having two pots of each of these types so we'll space them at the bottom of the of the, bo of the pot and then we'll make so that's kind of what we've done there hopefully you can see that that one will be there so we've got three potatoes in the bottom and then what we'll do 
is we'll make up a nice compost to go on the top. So again, we'll put a little bit more of this potato fertilizer. The thing about using potato fertilizer with anything and also blood fish and bone is if you've got foxes on your plot, there's a good chance that wherever you've used it, they'll try and dig it up. They kind of attracted by the smell of it. The other thing I'll be using is something that was quite successful for me for the um, single seed potato challenge and that's this uh, super phosphate so we'll add a little bit of the super phosphate again you don't need a massive amount um, I know some of the other guys have used the super phosphate and they've used it throughout the season as well so they've planted them originally and then they've um, basically added some more super phosphate to the mix as time has gone on um, the other thing I'll be adding to this, as I say, is this blood, fish and bone. So we'll add a little bit of that. Again, you don't want a massive amount, just, just enough to give it a taste. And again, mix that nice compost up. So be careful around the super phosphate because it is potentially caustic so uh, a little bit like lime in some respects in that in that respect i think you might be able to hear the kettle going bear with me Nothing beats a nice copper down the plot. Right, so we'll put that over there. I'll probably end up forgetting it and probably not drinking it at all, but we'll see how that goes. Right, let's sort out the potting mix over the top. So, again, we're not going to fill this all the way to the brim, just enough to give it a nice covering. So I've left about probably kind of that much from the top of the bucket just so that, um, I don't know whether you can see that actually, we'll give that a go there. So that's the first one, I'll we'll put a nice label on it because I'm not very good at remembering to label these things so I've made some already. I've just got to remember when I top the buckets up to actually move the label so it doesn't get drowned. Right and then we'll move that to one side. And we'll do the next one. I'd like to say here's one I made earlier, but I haven't made this earlier at all. Again, a little bit of the potato fertilizer. And then we'll get the charlots. Again, I'm picking some nice, relatively big ones. These have got quite a bit of um, growth going on them. Again, Putting three in the bottom of this pot. Let's see if we can find another decent one. I've actually got uh, 10 potatoes for my money. So there we go, so that's three in there. Again, we'll top up with the, with the medium I've made up. Right, again, I think I probably need a bit more. So we'll add some compost. Give it a nice stabby stabby with the uh, hori hori break up any large clumps and things because you want hopefully to get the nutrients all the way through this growing media and then we'll add the additives again right a bit more potato fertilizer again a 
little bit more of the super phosphate. Those little granules and again we'll have a nice scoop of the good fish and bone. Right. So give it a good mix. Okay, so we'll add that to our pot. Again, we'll want to bring it up close to where the other one is as well. And again, we'll get the label. Stick it on the side there and that's sorted. Right, so hopefully, given enough protection, those um, potatoes should grow nicely throughout the rest of the season. Um, the plants hopefully should be quite large off the top of these. Um, if they're anything like the single seed potatoes, challenge potatoes with super phosphate, uh, hopefully should get some really decent potatoes. Um, and. Again, hopefully by kind of November time, my chilies will probably all have got to that stage where I'm having to get rid of them. The frost is kind of around the start of November, um, so I'll probably have to clear the polytunnels, which again will allow space for these. Um, I'm probably going to be clearing before then. Um, but as I say, these will move by that point, hopefully into that polytunnel. Um, where I'll be putting them at the moment is at the base of the new build where I had the previous St. Patrick's Day potatoes. So again, they're gonna get some water off the roof as it comes down, and they'll get some kind of constant watering and stuff from there, but also I'm in and out of that new build quite often. It's where the new seedlings are, it's where all the new um, plants growing are generally put. So I'm gonna notice them as I'm going past. So hopefully if they need water, I'll be able to know that they need that water. So that's my Christmas potatoes, or that's two of them sorted. I'm gonna do the other two pots now uh, with the pent and javelin. Um, as soon as I know what that single seed potato is, I'm gonna see if I can get hold of some of them and plant some of those for Christmas as well, because they were fantastic. Um, yeah, my only good regret is I didn't you know, leave myself a couple of those, because they're fantastic tasty potato. So uh, that's that for now. So we'll see you on the next video. So uh, till then, all the best guys. Take care. Bye-bye.